Recently, I got this pop-up dialogue in CapCut with two new available features in the latest version. The second feature, where you can create short videos from a long one, sounds pretty cool, so let's try it out. After installing the update on my machine, the feature was not available in CapCut for desktop. However, if we open up the web version of CapCut and select the Magic Tools tab, the new feature is available to use. After we open up the tool, we are greeted with an introduction video. The features look very promising, with things like smart resizing, auto trim and automatic captions. But seeing is believing. After I close this intro video, I'm able to upload a video. For this example, I will use a video from a Steve Jobs interview. On the next screen, we get a quick preview of the uploaded video and we can select the duration of the shorts. As I want shorts for YouTube, I will select less than 60 seconds and press convert. Interestingly, the convert button has a free label. I'm guessing that maybe in the future this will not be free. Anyway, before the process starts, we get a disclaimer that your video will be uploaded to a third-party server and that CapCut is not responsible for the output. Ok, let's agree with that. It starts processing your video and in the meantime you can watch some tips. When the process is finished, we get 5 shorts. We can go over them and preview it by using the play button. The results are not that bad, but also not perfect. For example, this third clip, I think the AI got drunk. We also have the same problem on clip number 4. If you're happy with the result of a clip, you can directly download it. You do get some options before exporting, which is quite nice. I expected the export button to immediately start the download, however, you will be forwarded to an export page and after the export is completed, you can directly share the video on a social media platform or just download it. Let's go back to the previous screen by pressing the go back to edit button. This time, instead of exporting, I will use the edit button. We are forwarded to the CapCut web editor with the created short video already loaded. This is pretty nice as we can change or add additional elements or effects to the video. This video also had the issue where the AI got drunk halfway and the video was not correctly aligned. I was hoping to be able to fix that by moving the video. However, it seems that the original video has been cropped. So no easy way to fix that, which is a bummer. You can however adjust the subtitle properties and animation quite easily to your liking. Finally, we can use the export button at the top right to download our video. As before, we do have some additional export options. After the export is completed, we can easily download the video. All in all, it's not a bad feature, but as we have seen, not perfect. It is still cool though that CapCut offers this for free. I would have loved to see this in the desktop version as the web version is quite laggy in my opinion. Thanks again for tuning in and until the next video.